Welcome back to our November edition, and joining us in the studio today now is Rhonda McEnroe, who is a local artist and designer here in Owensboro. Rhonda, welcome to the show again. Thank you very much. I appreciate returning. I think returning. the last time you were here, we, you were talking about another exhibit that this you had This is correct. On, and uh, I know that was very successful also, so I'm excited to talk to you about this. Today we're going to be discussing your upcoming art exhibit featuring your private art students who are quite young. Yes. Why don't you go ahead and share some details? Well, it's the first exhibit, and I'm thrilled to give it to them. Their ages are seven and the exhibit through 24. Okay. But the children usually leave my tutelages around the age of 16, 17, 18. Right, okay. Because of high school, college activities and whatever. Right. But there is a 24 year old who is loaning back paintings to the community. She mm -hmm. lives in Arizona. So ages seven, 10, 11, 16 is really the average that I have right now. Well, what is it like? I mean, because obviously you're you're teaching, you're instructing yes. these kids. How different is it for the se se seventh or the seven year old versus the 18 year old? Okay. Is there a different teaching style that you have to incorporate? Well, number one, I let them pick the subject matter okay. so they're excited about it. Uh -huh. And so, yes, they're learning in the beginning, but I always reiterate the values that they need, the contrast of values that they need to watch for and create, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. any problems in the painting. And so many times it's basic drawing. Sometimes I allow them to trace the item. Okay. I have a piece here that it was done by a little seven-year-old that's incomplete, but will be <laughs> in the show. So she traced the leaf okay. and she worked the values inside the subject, just like the water lily and so forth. So they have to go step by step and the classes are one on one, so that's the title of the show. But they're with me in the studio for an hour at a time. Okay. And getting total instructions in, I'll, sometimes I'll have to say stop and then I'll tell them why and I'll give them a little demonstration on right. the piece. Okay, all right, well listen, these kids uh, obviously are wide variety. What schools do they come from? They're 16 okay. different schools, all one's right. in Indiana, Okay, and so there are all of the Catholic schools represented here from the 4 6 Center to the uh, middle school to the uh, Catholic High. Okay. To, uh, there's a couple of homeschool children at Owensboro High School, Apollo High School, Burns Middle School, uh, Highland Elementary School, College View, Burns, um, Maximilian uh, Montessori Academy, mm -hmm. West Louisville. Um, the University of Kentucky is even listed, even though that girl's work will be here, she may not be in attendance in the exhibit. Okay. So there are 16 local schools in the, wow. it's, it's wonderful. It is, that's excellent that these kids are getting this opportunity to have this level of instruction here in Owensboro. Thank you. I mean, really I do. I, I, you know, we, we interview a lot of folks from the arts and the nonprofit worlds and so forth, but you know, I don't think people have true appreciation of the effects of art on kids and so I'm always very impressed with the amount of arts that we have in Owensboro and I think it's, it's one of our lot. better assets. It is. It really is. You have museums, you've got dance theaters, you have, you know, uh, uh, you've got theaters as far as, you know, drama and just all kinds. So it, it's, it's, it's very wonderful. Now I understand these students are using different mediums. That's now, correct. This is kind of somewhat new to me and probably new to uh, some of our viewers. What are the different mediums? Okay, I have one, two students working in watercolor. The second is going to do an overlay of soft pastel on top of the watercolor okay. to create his painting of these clouds rolling in. Okay. Most of them start off with the oil pastels, which is like the water lily next to you and okay. the leaf that I held up mm -hmm. and this sweet little mermaid. This was the young lady's first piece. Again, she chose it from a uh, drawing, comic mm -hmm. book. but. If she's excited about it, so am I. And right. so we improved and changed the colors. We have moved them from oil pastels into oil painting, like the puppy okay. dog and the elephants. Okay. This puppy dog, I just got to tell you, folks. <laughs> this puppy dog is about as cute as they come. I'll tell you what. I'm, that's that's an absolutely beautiful it, little picture. It's not even finished yet. Well, it looks it, like it's the finished. Under, <laughs> the chest, the puppy uh, ears and, and legs, that's the understudy of the dog. Okay. So she's refining it and it'll pull out more detail. So the more layers you add into an oil painting, the more lifelike it looks. Right. The dog's name is Jasper and Jasper is going to be represented by that same child in oil pastel and oil painting. Oh, okay. It's the second time she's done her dog. Oh, how neat. Well, listen, uh, what's the meaning behind the title One on One? When they come to my house, it's mm -hmm. them and me. Oh, okay. I sit by their side or stand by them at the easel or the table and they have my full attention for an hour. Okay. And there's, they're greeted usually at the door with soft music. 
Mm -hmm. Maybe sometimes Michael Jackson, but right. you know, <laughs> we pump it up sometimes. <laughs> well, tell us about the opening reception event. Oh, that will take place on Monday, the 21st of November at the Ralph Center, which for us old timers, it used to be the Joe Ford Science yes. Museum. It's on the corner of South Griffith and College Drive on Kentucky Wesleyan College campus. And I was thrilled that the college gave us the campus uh, site for the gallery for the exhibit because mm -hmm. it's a wonderful place to hold an exhibit. Uh, we have this uh, area in the front where we will have a reception and um, that takes place from 6 to 8 on the 21st of November. Okay, all right. If uh, people are not able to make the reception, are there additional time that they can view this artwork? And I hope that they do. Yeah. And I hope they sign the guest book. They can come back at when the co college is reopened after Thanksgiving okay. from the 29th of November through the 9th of December. And the gallery hours uh, there are in 8 to 5. Yes. And you're right. It's a wonderful place to go. I've been there several times before to see some of the, the artwork that yes. has been, uh, some of the exhibits that have been there. And it's it's really a nice little place. And you just walk in, go right to the exhibit. And you just, can. Just look at it, you know. So Absolutely. There will be 52 it. paintings on display. Excellent. Now, you mentioned to me that KET was going to cover this event. What exactly are they going to do? Isn't that exciting? It is. I knew that they had an education department for younger students. Mm -hmm. They did a, do a program on my adult okay. students uh, some years past. So I invited them back and they jumped at it. So they're coming in November to record and to make another television program that will air in 2017. Excellent. So this will reach everyone when it's aired locally here, and the, mm -hmm. and the children and the families are excited about it, right. I must tell you, John. Oh, I bet they are. They I are. I bet they are. Any publicity they can get to Absolutely. show off their works and so forth, it's, it's wonderful. Now, uh, a lot of these things take uh, uh, some extra help. Do you have any sponsors this year? I have the best in Owensboro, in my opinion. That's... Um, Independence Bank. Okay, great. Excellent. And uh, if viewers need additional information, where can they find it? Uh, well, actually, Independence Bank offered yesterday to put up a posting, and so did Kentucky Wesleyan College. Okay. So they're going to put some things on Facebook or Twitter and send out things like that. But as I visited the different schools to invite the principals and the teachers for these particular students so they could promote them in the school, mm -hmm. because when you're in a sporting event, you've got a lot of people cheering you on. When right. you come to my studio, it's just one-on-one, -on -one, so it's kind of quiet. So I want these children to be patted on the back and right. acknowledged for their accomplishment and their effort, because sometimes if they're only coming to my house two hours a month, right? okay, it takes a long time to finish something. I mean, the iris painting alone has taken a huge amount of time just mm -hmm. for the irises, and now she's working in the background. So these kids need to be acknowledged for the fact that they want to do something creative in a positive way, learn as well. Right. So now are they, when, when the students come to your studio, yes. they, they, they have that quality time with you, but do they continue working on the project outside of your studio? Actually, no. Okay. It, it gets left there. Okay. I, I must confess, though, outside of that statement, which is true, to get this particular piece ready for the exhibit, I, she did take it home last okay. night to work on some of the background planning because this will be the largest piece in the show. Okay. And the young lady that's doing the elephants will have the most number of pieces in the show because she's been coming for about eight years now. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, I have to also say, this is a beautiful... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't this do is, that. This is a beautiful picture of these elephants. That that. It is. That's a talent right there. It that's is. That's all I got to say. I'm telling that's, you. That's an incredible talent that these students have. And not only do they have the talent and the grace, there are young ladies inside. I have some boy students as yeah. well, so they're nice gentlemen. But these children who come are just amazing. Wow. They're, they say yes and thank you, uh -huh. and they focus. They don't slough off. It, it's fabulous to work I with them. You, it's my mission. I was going to say, I bet it's you have a good mission. time. They feed me. Yeah. They really do. That's great. Well, listen, we've got a few minutes left. Let's go ahead and give these students some recognition and read us okay. their names. I will do it. Uh, Maddie Baker. Okay. Uh, Ella. I know Maddie Baker, as a matter of fact. Good. <laughs> She's got a lot of personality. I know her folks. <laughs> <laughs> Ella Bartholomew. Okay. That, this is this piece right, right. here. Uh, Jarrett Buckner okay. is also known as the Donuts, and he's doing a piece that is that the boys will love. Lance Burdett is another gentleman who's doing the watercolor and the salt pastel. Catherine Cadill is doing her first piece that's going to knock your socks off. Madison Connor is a young lady with the elephants. Gracie Cummings, she's just started, but this young lady can draw and focus like nobody's business. She's doing a little dough. 
Sarah Edge and uh, Sadoi Greer. Okay. Seven years old. This piece right here. Oh, okay. Seven years old. She already owned her oil paints. I couldn't believe it. At seven years old, I was borrowing my mother's oil paints. <laughs> uh, Naya Hammonds. Naya is, she's about eight. Did a horse that you won't believe. Lily Hayden is doing Jasper. She'll mm -hmm. have about six or seven in the show, maybe four. But she's also done Monet painting. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Carolyn Head has, will have a house portrait that she did in oil painting and some other pieces. She can't attend because she's playing basketball. So I'm saying these kids are focused. Hallie Howard is doing this, did this piece right here. Alexa Kim is doing watercolor, Siberian tiger, and a parrot. Emily Lampert is fabulous inside and out. That's one Christian young lady. Lucy with a leaf. Uh, this, this is Lucy Leith from uh, Newburgh, Indiana. <laughs> Joe and Bill Barron's her grandparents. Oh, okay. So you know she's wonderful. Yes. Uh, Caitlin Lewis, uh, Camille uh, Luttrell. Uh, Camille's work's not here, but you will be impressed when you see her mountains. Okay. Macy Ward. Oh, my goodness. She did a tidal wave of an ocean that I would never have tempted myself, and she's only like 12 years old. Wow. And Ellen Wright is the young lady from Arizona that is letting um, her parents bring some pieces over that loves horses and has created horses time and time again. Just beautiful. Well, that's wonderful. Well, Rhonda, thank you so much. And thank I you. wish you the best of luck. I'm sure this will be uh, a, a real exciting event. Uh, folks, remember uh, November 21st at 6 p.m. at the Ralph Center. Um, good luck. Thank you very much. Okay. And thank you for tuning in. And on behalf of everyone here at OCTV, we hope you have a wonderful fall and we'll see you right back here in December.